let's go on to verses uh, 15 through 19. Now one of them, when he saw that he had been healed, turned back, glorifying God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at his feet, giving thanks to him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered and said, Where were, were there not ten cleansed? But the nine, where are they? Was no one found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has made you well. This sounds like faith was the reason he was healed, hence faith healing. And was it faith in the healing or faith in Jesus as the healer? All right, let's look at this and let's understand that Jesus healed all of them exactly the same way. As a group of 10, he said, go show yourselves to the priest. So one of them sees that he's healed and comes back and says, thank you. So there's something different in the fact that he came back, but there's nothing different in the process of the healing. The word for made you well is the same word as saved throughout the New Testament. It means to be made whole. And, and so here's what we want to take from this. All receive the gift of being of being made well, of being made whole of their disease. Nine were cleansed, but one, one had faith enough to pursue humble gratitude and praise. And Jesus points that difference out. He comes back and he remarks, Jesus remarks to him, where, where are your other nine counterparts? And he said, and he looks at him differently. And he says, your faith has made you whole. He is not talking about the physical skin being restored. He's talking about the heart of this man being oh. raised up to a higher level. You have been made whole by your experience. They took the gift and ran. You take the gift and you say, thank you. In such a heart lies the potential for the healing of discipleship. The only mm -hmm. faith the 10 began with was a guarded expectation of a miracle. This one had something different.